yo what's good youtube it's your boy tiski you can call me t for short and i'm back with another video man today i got a accent 20 accent the 20 greatest nba legends their thoughts about lebron james it said the 20 greatest so i better see some all-time greats in here you know what i mean and I wonder what they gonna say. Cause I ain't gonna lie, y'all old heads, y'all like to talk crazy about Brian. Y'all like to call him a flopper, a fraud, a fake. You know what I mean? And I'm not really with the hating. Cause if we being honest, Brian can hoop. Let's be real. Brian is nice. Brian up there when we talking about ball players. You know what I mean? He on my he on my Mount Rushmore for sure. If he not on yours. You need to do some research and you need to reconsider. You know what I mean? We got a little R&R &R for y'all. Research and reconsider. If you ain't got Brian on that Mount Rushmore, you hear me? You feel me, bro? If you're new to the channel, go check out the other videos. Like, subscribe. I do reactions all day, every day. You feel me? So go, go find you something that you like and go sit down and watch it. You hear me? But without further ado, let's get into the video. I mean, welcome to the 20 greatest NBA players and legends who shared their thoughts on LeBron James. Okay. If you don't know by now, we are doing a 23 part series collection of 23 LeBron James videos in 23 weeks. If you have missed any of the other episodes, there's a playlist link on the top right of your screen and link down below in the description. Mm. So be sure to check those videos out. Let me know if y'all want to do them videos. These take a lot of time to edit and brown. piece up all together. So I'd really appreciate if you guys could help me out by hitting that like button. We could it do really it. It really goes a long way we to supporting this channel. And if you are new and enjoy these types of guy. videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button too. And of course, all video, podcast, clips and highlights are on the screen right now and linked down below in the description. So be sure to check them out in their entireties. And I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so be sure to grab your popcorn, sit back and relax, because here popcorn. are the 20 greatest NBA players sharing their thoughts on LeBron the James. LeBron James. <laughs> we have never seen in the NBA a player like LeBron James. You know, I, I look at LeBron and, I, and, and what he's done is, is, is mind-blowing uh, with what he's had to work with. He's taken every rookie coach he's had yes, sir. to the NBA Finals. Talk that talk. So from an educational standpoint and a knowledge base, yeah, you know I mean, where did this brain come from? I mean, he's the Einstein of basketball. Mm -hmm. Because Ooh. when you look at myself, you look at a Jordan, you look at a Shaq, you know, we, we had Hall of Fame coaches. That came from somewhere. I look at LeBron James and I go, where'd he get all this? Because he can look at your coach figure out your def defensive scheme. He can look at your substitution pattern. He can read the stat sheet, and then he can, you know, not only re read it, but he can dissect it. Then he can come back and put together a game plan, and then he can go out and implement it. And you just don't walk in from high school. He preaching. With, with no institutional knowledge. He preaching. And dominate a sport for the years that he's dominated. So when you talk about. Talk that. He said, I ain't need to go to college, man. I don't need college. Man. I don't need to get polished. Man. Put me put me in the league right now. They said, Brian, you want to go to college or you want to go to? He said, give me the league right now. I'm ready for it. Who you know did that? Not too many, boy. What is you talking about? LeBron James and Michael Jordan. I look at from the neck up, not necessarily from the neck down. So are you saying Fuck LeBron is better than Michael Jordan? I would pick LeBron James. You would? Mm. If, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm trying to build if a team. I'm, if I'm trying to build a team. Mm, he said I'm it in front of the fans, too. He said he'll pick LeBron James. But I'm not going to lie. We all know. Isaiah Thomas is, is the biggest Jordan hater of them all. <laughs> We know that. We know that, though. We know that. We know Isaiah Thomas is the biggest Jordan hater of a ball. You know what I mean? Maybe Jordan haters out here, but he probably number one. He probably got a Twitter. <laughs> a Jordan hate Twitter. You know what I mean? You, we all know Isaiah Thomas is a hater. But that's, let's not let that invalidate the statement. He got Bron over Jordan. The brain. Okay? <laughs> if, if I got to get 40 points or 50 points, 
then yeah, I'm, I'm taking a Michael Jordan. LeBron James just came in from high school and said, boom, seven mm-hmm. straight finals. I think LeBron James is the most talented player that I've ever seen. And I'm a, mm. and the reason being, you know, I, sometimes you hear people make a statement Call and they don't back it up with nothing. And let me explain Wait, to I you. Can't see. LeBron is my size bigger. About 265, 275. And mm. I would say to do the things that he do, we will never see it again. Never. So all of those haters out there, all of those haters out there, Talk. sit back and enjoy. Every now and then, you see a player come through, and they you say, wow. When you look at what talk LeBron has talk. done and how long that lasted. Unbelievable. It, it's unbelievable, so you give that credit. But I can't. I will not sit here and tell you, start labeling them. People don't know how to take them, so they become haters. Haters need to be aware and say, enjoy this guy. First time he was in the finals was 2007. I wasn't playing basketball. That's crazy to think about. Basically, grew up watching Did you start playing basketball? Play. Obviously, when you're young, you... You, you follow kind of the hype, athletic, can dunk over everybody, you know. Ooh. Guy that goes downhill, he's like a train, you know, he goes his way in there, like all that. Which when I came in and I understand, you know, the way he operates, is and this guy's like, he's a genius. He knows how to play the game of basketball. For 21 years, he's been extremely co- consistent. You know, he's always available for his team. You know, does what he does, Ooh. you know, in order for him to win. It's, it's, it's incredible, man. It's totally it incredible. Definitely is, but for, sure. for me, probably, if, arguably, the best player to ever play this game. Ooh. If not, some guys might say he's number two, but other guys, me, might say he's number one. Will you, what what you say, though, Giannis? Court now, I, I mean, I, I, I'm a big Michael Jordan guy. I mean, that was my era. But LeBron's me, making a great argument to, to be, you know, one of the, the greatest, if not the greatest. He's always been a great player. But now he helps, he puts those other guys in a position where they can be successful. And he's learned how to help them against all odds. They were down 3-1. No one gave them a chance to win it. Nobody and they were did. able to put it together. But, but really, it, 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 it comes down to how much are you willing to sacrifice, right? How much are you willing to put everyone else in a position where they can be successful. Who's the player that- Hey man, I feel like people really take that 3-1. Y'all really take that for granted, bro. He came back from 3-3 three, three to 1. You know what I mean? 3-1. to one. That's the greatest comeback we ever seen in our life. I don't think no, no, we had never seen that again. The only way to top it you go down 3-0 in the finals and you win it in seven. That's the only way, and that's not happening. Nobody ever even came back from 3-0 before. How many people even forced a game seven? That's what I'm saying. Brian got the greatest. That's the that's the greatest stat you could ever. You know what I mean, that's the best stat you could ever have. Greatest comeback. I know y'all. Jordan didn't need seven games. He won every game before he got there. Man, shut up. We talk about Bron right now, man. You sound like an eater. You an eater? Yeah, I knew it, bro. Let's get this, let's watch the video, bro. I knew I knew you was one of them. That's playing in the NBA today, Elgin Baylor. That could have held his own in the league while you were playing. Elgin Baylor and with the rules oh, well, that you no were doubt playing. About on. It. LeBron James. I mean, he's a, like a freak of nature. I mean, this guy, man, he's built like Hercules. I mean, he's, he's six eight. Hey, Elgin Baylor is he different like on two seventy five or two eighty. I mean, he should be out there playing football too. But I mean, he is one heck of an athlete. You would think really he'd go. To play with. Really great guy, really great player. If you open, he gonna get it to you. He gonna get it to you. So that's why, you know, when they talk about LeBron being one of the Shaq, best no. ever, I do agree. Play with LeBron. You know, the, the numbers will always be, you know, skewed. He was a senior citizen, one, but he played with him. And it's a great conversation to, to be in. Like, I wish I was in that GOAT conversation. He gonna have four rings. You already passed up Kobe. You already passed up Mike. Now he passed up Kareem. So if that don't make him the greatest basketball player is, I don't know, you know, what we're talking about. You know, I always say uh, Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Uh, you know, if, if he really surpasses Kareem in the scoring record, I mean, it's uh, I'm, I'm sort of running out of arguments for Ooh. Michael. I mean, this, what running this out of arguments. 
nothing short of incredible their longevity and you know i always say you know being called king at 15 uh, and how he turned out and what he's done for communities where he played and, and changed so many lives so uh, he's a very very special athlete and um, i think for now we need to appreciate that uh, watching him and uh, at the level he's playing at i mean this is what it is i told you man i said this earlier man this is the changing of the guard of everything we've known the game to be. And this is the first parts of the, the transition of now, Bron being king of the game. Give me that. We talk about the GOAT, man. He might be the GOAT. I might, I think I think that right there probably solidified Ooh, it. Ooh, Kevin. Think about this. Kevin and man, Paul Pierce. 40,000. Think about high school, bro. Think how many buckets you not put up. Think about just, though he finna, he gonna, he's going to have 40. 40,000 points, Pete, <laughs> in the fucking That's NBA, bro. That's crazy. See, this is what makes him go on top of the list to me. This shit right here. If we talking about shot making, we talking about ability, we talking about skill. Talk. He in all those conversations, but now Talk. you're doing some shit where, yeah, the greatest couldn't even do this. Will couldn't do this. Ooh. Jordan couldn't do this. Talk. 38. Man, 38 and 38. he's really like 45. I'm sick he broke the record on my yeah, back. You know what's so crazy? He's such a good, he's such a humble kid. Such a humble guy. He, he ain't go, he ain't step on everybody like he could have. Y'all, everybody shut the fuck up. <laughs> everybody shut the fuck up. It's over, ain't it? <laughs> he talking about everybody shut the fuck up. <laughs> Hey Kevin Gordon, hey I love Kevin Gordon. I'm not gonna lie, bro. He, hey, he one of my top five funniest players ever, bro. He was nice, but he's funny, bro. I'm not gonna lie, like he's he entertaining. But for Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett to say this about LeBron, come on, y'all gotta, y'all gotta realize who's saying these guys. They hated Bron when they played. They was trying to rip Bron head off. They like. They like, we can't beat this nigga. You know what I mean? Bron switch teams. They like, we we can't do nothing with him on, on, in Miami. We could, Cleveland, we doing that thing to him. In Miami, you know what I mean? It's hot down there, boy. You can't really do nothing with them. So you got to you gotta give Bron his, Bron earned his stripes. That's all that is, bro. That's all that is right there. Ain't nothing to talk about no more, right? Yeah. Everybody in their lane now. And for some reason, <clears throat> I don't know why, I think a lot of people don't give him his just due sometime because he's such it's an incredible logo. player. He's a Come on now. Swiss Army knight. No he homework. does everything. Uh, rebound, passes, block shots, scores the ball. And I think when he <laughs> leaves the game, I think he his seen legacy everybody play. will be huge. I think near where Jordan's legacy has been. But this player, um, someone I admire a lot. I mean, he he competes every night. There's no, he doesn't take nights off. Do you think LeBron James is up there with the greatest players of all time? Yes. According to the, to the position that he Game plays, you know, I don't. When people start comparing him with like with Jordan, then that's not a fair comparison because you know that's you know Jordan's far more superior player. I mean, that's not taking away anything away from LeBron James. Okay, King got Jordan. But it's not a fair comparison because I think Jordan is much faster to be a player. LeBron is not as good as Michael okay. Jordan? Say that. Come on. What do you think? The Tell him, come on, though. Time. Like, let's be real. Awesome. Legacy let's be real. Right? This is Oscar Robinson. If y'all don't know. can play or he can't play. Come on. Legacy is after, after you're through with the game and gone. Come on. And look back on your career. So let's be All real. This legacy stuff people talk about before a guy even finishes playing, it's just just TV talk. Let, let's talk about the Michael LeBron thing. They played in different eras. Mm -hmm. They're they're, in my opinion, they're right there. You can it's either A or B. Okay. LeBron James is the only one who didn't struggle right away. Right. He came in and was a good player. He wasn't great, great, great right away but he was a good player right but also in this generation where everybody's got a cell phone and people out to get you he's never gotten in trouble he's exceeded what the any NBA, expectations any expectations and to never get in trouble in this generation uh, like i say you know everybody's got a cell phone now people are deliberately trying to get you yes yeah 
I think it's the greatest sports story ever. It's like when he was in his 14th, 15th. Hey, he's not lying, though. You got to respect it, though. For really, though. Because we never seen Bron in no type of, you know what I mean, skits or scandals. He always, he was, he been locked in 21 years strong, bro. Like, this is a player that's really true to the game, really dedicated to his craft, really worried about getting better every single day. It's really inspirational when you really think about it. Because who else? Day in and day out, he grinding, bro. He 39, grinding. He's still in that lab. He waiting on little Sun Sun. He like, ah, right, now I got everything I want. I'm waiting on little Sun Sun to get to the league. Sun Sun gets to the league. I'm finna team up with little Sun Sun. We finna hoop. You know what I mean? You got to respect it. At the end of the day, if you don't think he better, at, better than Jordan, you got to at least say he true to the game. You know what I mean? Hey, can I get a true to the game in the comments? Somebody, somebody comment true to the game, bro. Year, I was just like, when he's the 17th, 18th year, it's just like, damn, that's actually is dope. When you're 39 in your 20th year, and then like half your life is in the league, and then you played against like 40% of the players that's ever played in the league, it's just like, damn. That longevity 40%? has to mean something. It gotta that mean has something. has to be a standard. Like, if you really truly want to know what greatness is like, of course, you can accumulate championships in a short amount of time and accolades in a short amount of time you can have a nice quick spurt of moment but like i truly appreciate somebody who's been in that shit for a long time all right there is no denying like his greatness in terms of what he can do on the court and like sometimes you're in even when you're playing against him you're in awe because mm -hmm. it's like the way he can control the tempo of the game the way he can dominate scoring passing you know, just his overall just presence and his IQ, like all that stuff. Like we all talk about it and you have to appreciate have the competition to beat him because there's got to be that, you know, as coach would call it, the appropriate fear. Absolutely. But um, <laughs> people always compare eras too, right? And they always say we're more buddy-buddy than eras of past because there ain't no fights on the court. Like we all work out with each other. We got business crossover, friendships, like all that stuff off the court. And they always talk about like that's ruining the game. He's an amazing basketball player, um, and he brings the best out of <laughs> hey, you. See how he looks. Amazing looked? basketball player. Um, and <laughs> he said, "Ooh, he Steph, he didn't whoop you. Shit. you know you have to <laughs> he didn't whoop be you. your best if you're going to try to beat him. And I think he oh feels goodness. vice versa. Um, and so you uh, you love those um, experiences. And he whooping Steph. Um, somebody's got to win, and it's part of." the nature of what, what we're dealing with um but there's so much respect and um again appreciation for the 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 battles and the experiences in the back and forth because it's basketball at the highest level and that's all you can ask for are you aware that there are some of your diehard fans that have an issue with lebron being termed as part of the family yeah probably? i i hear that but it, you know listen if you're a fan of mine you're a fan of winning and uh, <laughs> say that whether you're a fan of his say that Cole. I, if you were a fan and you don't agree with what he's saying and now he just lost the fan he's fine with that because he's going to do what's right and i think that's a great example for all of us well i mean i'm of the mindset that his legacy as one of the all-time greats is already sealed yeah i mean that that's <laughs> well, kind of he's already done that well yeah <laughs> you would agree you would agree with that assessment yeah. obviously right yeah. i think you know for me i'm sure for brian well, you know, you know, the way we approach the game the same way we approach life. You do the right thing. You make the right play. You make the right play. And in life, it's the same thing. What do you feel in your heart is the right thing to do? And you do that. You know, it seems so simple, but sometimes the simplest things are the hardest things to do. Like, he's going to do what's right. And uh, we're about winning championships. So they'll, they'll fall in line. You could just tell what he was going to be and who he was going to be and uh, that he was going to be such a dominant. Hey. Even Kobe, hey Kobe, hey you see how Kobe slid that in? They was talking about Brian. He said, "But if you if you a fan of me, you like to win." You know what I mean? <laughs> he capping. He okay. Such a long talk time. that talk, Kobe. And uh, uh, it was it was great playing games early and again uh, late in my career. Um, and just watching his 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 trajectory uh, of his career, and just see it coming. Um, but uh, uh, playing against a, a, a young LeBron and an old and an older LeBron 
Yes. Uh, two different players, two totally different players, and it was, it, was, it was fun to watch and be a part of. As far as playing basketball, you've got to enjoy this guy. If you're a basketball I never fan, you've got to sit like go, wow, how do you do that? Or I always say, boy, I wish I had his speed, yeah. you know? But some of the stuff that kid does out there, he's by far our best player in this league. I don't by think, far? I don't think there's really anyone by far. next to him. I think he's there, then you go down the list. You, you always talk about the great play. I tell people, quit whining about LeBron. Enjoy him while he's here. He, he's unbelievable. I mean, he's one of the greatest, if not the greatest ever. Then, then you go back, I played against Magic, Michael, Kareem. I mean, the list goes on and on. So it's hard to pick one guy. Hey. Y'all know how we love Larry Joe Bird. If Larry's saying it, it's true. He's a dog. It's confirmed. That's all I needed to hear. If Larry said it, I believe it. You know what I mean? <laughs> if Larry said it, I believe it. It came from a good source. You know what I mean? Guy, uh, but I mean, they ever it seems like everybody better? in their air thinks their air is the best. I don't buy sure. any of that. Right. Things change. There's nobody at that height and size that can move that fast and also go through contact and still score. We've never seen it before. Right. Right. And still make his teammates better. So he's leading in so many different ways. He can score. He could defend, he right. could rebound, he, right. he can assist. Right. We've never seen that as a guy that size never and that seen fast it. and that strong. Right. We ain't never but seen also, it. also, we forget, he's the smartest dude. Right. Mm. His basketball IQ is so far above everybody else. He reads situations, he reads the game, he could do it all. And I think at the end of the day, to pass two Lakers, you're on the Lakers. Right. And now you're going to pass me and then eventually Kareem to be the all-time leading scorer and number three all-time mm -hmm. in assists? Right. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you got to give it to him. Yeah. So who do you, you think is to. the greatest player of all time? I, I think we can't determine that. Um, it, it's, it's impossible to determine that. The circle has to keep getting bigger because there's more and more great players coming through. Mm -hmm. and, that deserve to be in, in, in the circle. So, uh, you know, I just uh, try to acknowledge everybody and, uh, you know, I, I let the people that go to sports bars, they can argue about it and order their wings and their, their brews and they can start <laughs> arguing. But we're not gonna figure this one out. <laughs> LeBron's career is one of uh, someone who planned to dominate this game. And he immediately started to uh, have his effect. And, uh, you know, it's, it's gone for uh, almost 20 years now. So I. Hey, y'all think Kareem was sick when he passed him? <laughs> Kareem was mad as fuck. <laughs> Kareem was mad as fuck. <laughs> Bro, y'all seen, y'all should have seen his reaction live, though. Hey, hey, if you know, if you watch the game, if you know, you know, bro. He was watching the game. Braun was getting buckets early. He was looking like, oh, my God, my record really gone. He didn't even want to give him the ball. He started holding the ball. Like, now you got to play me for my point. Now you got to play me for the record. And shit. He was going to come out there, come hook, come hook Braun out real quick so he can. <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, you got to no, give him bro. credit for Green just funny, the bro. way that he planned to last and to dominate. Disappointment to me, to win, you gotta lose. Mm -hmm. To be successful, you gotta have something that's not successful. You never lost though, Jeff. They voted me Jeffrey. as like the best or the most popular athlete. You know, it's ironic that I'm the youngest of the three. So in essence, it's, it's all relevated on who is watching now. Uh, if you ask 20 years from now, they got I'm pretty sure Big LeBron cigars. will beat me you know, you know, based on who's going to be making the voting. So if you ask me, I can never give you an opinion about things like that because as an athlete, all you want to do is be the best athlete you can be. Well, we play in different eras. He's, he's an unbelievable player. Yeah, he's one of the best players in the world, uh, if not the best player in the world. Uh, I know it's a natural tendency to compare eras to eras, and you know, it's going to continue to happen. I'm a fan of his. I love watching him play. 
But it's you know as you can see, our, our league is starting to expand on very talented players, and you know I think he's made his mark. He will continue to do so over a period of time. But when you start the comparisons, I think it is what it is. You know, it's just a standard measurement. You know, and I, I take it with a grain of salt. He is a heck of a basketball player, without a doubt. Hey, hey, Jordan, talk about taking with a grain of salt because he like, and he nice, but he came up on me. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. Like, come on, bro. They don't be trying to say it, bro. But you know me. I'm a, I'm gonna tell y'all what they saying for real, bro. He talk about taking with a grain of salt because I lace these bitches back up and it's gonna look bad for them. You know what I mean? That's what he said, bro. I'm just a messenger, bro. Don't don't say nothing to me. I'm just a messenger. Is that the end? And let me know what you thought about this video down below yeah, in the comment the section end. if you did. Hey, that's the end of the video, man. How y'all feel about Brian, bro? I feel like he an all-time great for sure. He top, he's top three all time. He's on Mount Rushmore. You know what I mean? You cannot argue he's not top three. Get out of here if you're saying he's not top three, bro. Be realistic. He nice for sure. But hey. Let me know y'all. Let me know y'all top y'all top three. Y'all top three goats. Who in y'all Mount Rushmore? Let me know. Let me know some down in the comments. That being said, man, let me get a like. Subscribe. We on the road to 10K. We grinding every day, man. And I ain't got nothing else to say, man. Hey, stop looking at my bonnet, bro. I told you about that. It's early in the morning, bro. Relax. But with that being said, I'm out.